Hello, how are we? Hey, fantastic. How are you? <laughs> I am doing wonderfully, just as season two of Brotherhood Falls is wonderful. Um, yeah. Ed, <laughs> Ed uh, after a you know, soul-searching journey, we have uh, uncovered yet another potentially new Nathan. Uh, can you talk about his uh, new perspective this season when he returns to town? Um, well, I think that at the beginning of season two, Nathan is very much still trying to figure out his perspective. Um, he hasn't quite confronted uh, some of the damage that he caused in season one, but he gets through it um, and uh, very quickly steps in it in other ways. And uh, and hopefully what we love about Nathan, if we're doing Nathan right, and I hope we are, then we're sort of like with him as he's making these terrible mistakes. <laughs> well, uh, he, has, he has a little bit of shame about, you know, he's, yeah. he's, like, he's embarrassed. Yeah, well, he has enough integrity yeah. to have shame also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we thank him for that. <laughs> um, uh, Jenna, I um, I just love Regan and love. So uh, I loved her story in season one. And then now we have a blossoming, uh, you know, new potential romance in season two. Yes, we um, do. What can you say about it? And what has it been like getting to really explore, you know, uh, I guess like an indigenous romance? Yeah, we have never seen um, uh, as much indigenous romance. Uh, I... I I don't know if we have well not on TV anyway and not in comedy certainly um our our, our showrunner Sierra Taylor Ornelas is Navajo Mexican American woman and she loves a rom-com so she was very excited about you know championing sort of our first native romance on um t television and it was really um it was really fun it was great to work with Dallas Goldtooth who plays Nelson and he's such a funny fun willing performer um um and yeah it was easy to sort of build on screen chemistry because we were buds in you know real life the same goes for Dustin Milligan who plays Josh you know um just a great person to work with so it's fun to get to like uh you know do little rom-com scenes for sierra and for those of uh us who love uh you know romance yes of which i am one yes yes certainly uh <laughs> speaking of uh nathan has some options for romance i don't know what you can say about it but what does romance in his life look like this season well uh at the end of season one uh nathan Prior, just before uh, he has a complete collapse identity crisis, mm -hmm. um, there are there, there are some sparks with Deirdre. Mm -hmm. um, those sparks are still present in season two, um, but a rather dramatic and <laughs> and uh, massive shift to the dynamic of that relationship takes place, mm -hmm. um, which is both I think for Nathan terrifying and thrilling and uh and hopefully for audiences as well well I was terrified and thrilled so I think well, that you did it you did there it you go. Um, All right. <laughs> so aside from your fabulous friendships with each other and the romances I have just mentioned what is one dynamic that you're very excited about this season boy um I'm really excited about um the political dynamic between Feather Day and Bobby Yang. Mm -hmm. Feather Day played by the incredible Ganyandia Horn, who's, um, you know, she is from uh, Ganawage, which is sort of the homelands of the air region which we're trying to represent on the show. Uh, she was really fun to work with. And um, the, you know, depicting sort of this, um, I guess, I don't know how to describe her, her politically, um, <laughs> She's a mercenary, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, going up against the, you know, potential youngest mayor in the United States. <laughs> um, you know, that's just like, it was so fun to write for. And, and, and I'm really excited to see how audiences react to that. I love that. I must run away from the pain now, but it was beautiful to speak with you. <laughs> Thank you guys so Likewise. much. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. I love the show and both of you. Thank you. Thanks.